Okay, we're going to try and get all sides to this story. My first guest is uh, Shashi Tharoor, Congress MP and remember author on a book which uh, exposed British colonialism. Uh, Shashi Tharoor, appreciate your joining us at the very outset. How do you see, Mr. Tharoor, the Modi government's response in blocking a documentary on YouTube and Twitter using emergency powers under the IT Act? You were standing committee chairperson on information technology. I think it's most unfortunate. It really is, uh, in many ways, a violation of the spirit of our Constitution that guarantees freedom of expression and freedom of opinion. And I think on the, the way in which they've done it has only drawn more attention to the issue they were trying to suppress. So they really haven't done themselves any favors in the process. But let me stress that uh, censorship is something we must consistently oppose. And whatever our views on the individual merits of the BBC documentary, I think the fact that the government doesn't want us to see it becomes a powerful incentive to most democratically minded people to see it. You know, something you have written in your book on uh, this colonial mindset uh, is being now echoed by the government. They claim that this BBC documentary coming 20 years after the Gujarat riots holding the Prime Minister directly responsible after the Supreme Court gave him a clean chit exposes a colonial mindset. Do you agree with this colonial mindset of the BBC theory? No, I'm not going along with the government's view, but at the same time, I do appreciate the fact that these things have been said by Indians for the last 20 years, and indeed you are one of them, Rajdeep, who was on the ground when this horror happened. Uh, and a lot, of, uh, a lot of the information that appears to be contained in that documentary is information that we have already read in the accounts of Indian journalists. There have even been books on the Gujarat riots, which have been completely uh, far more detailed about all of this. As I understand it, and I have to start off by confessing I haven't seen the documentary, as I understand it, uh, basically a couple of dip diplomats went from the British High Commission in 2002 to investigate what happened in Gujarat, and they sent a report back to their own government. And that report, which was confidential or classified, has now fallen into the hands of the, BJP, of the BBC 20 years later, and that's the story that they have announced. Now, <clears throat> to my mind, that makes uh, sense for the BBC to do to a BBC audience, in England particularly. But I'm not quite sure why it's such big news for us. For us, these are issues that have been raised in our country already. Mm -hmm. uh, for many people, what happened in Gujarat is a wound that will not heal for a long time. But as far as the legal aspects are concerned, the Supreme Court has essentially laid the matter to rest by coming up with its final judgment on the matter. Now, I wonder whether we are gaining anything by discussing this in such great length. And, uh, what, the, what the BJP's or the government's rather thin-skinned reaction has achieved is to give far more attention to a documentary that in the normal course, a very small fraction of the Indian viewing public would have found the time to 